we are back with another Zero Hour video featuring some of the content from Operation Magna that we already have access in the private work in progress build. We have already checked the PP-19 Bison and the sort of Shotgun and now we are finally taking a look at the AS Val before checking the FN-57. The AS Val, a unique assault rifle design featuring an integrated suppressor and firing 9x39 subsonic rounds, high rate of fire, 20 rounds mag capacity and high damage per projectile. This beast is coming to zero hour with Operation Magna. The AS Val is going to be available to defenders in PvP and as you will see, I think this is going to be a top tier weapon for many people. As per usual, I would like to remind everyone that everything you are going to see in this video comes from the work in progress build, so everything is subject to changes before the release of Operation Magna update. So without further ado, let's take a look at how the AS Val performs. Ammo wise, the AS Val comes with its standard issue 20 rounds mag capacity and you will get a total of 5 mags in PvP and Co-op. The damage per projectile for the AS Val is as follow. 130 to the head, 30 to the chest, 25 to the guts, 25 to the legs, 22 to the arm and 25 to the shoulder. So if we look at the damage per projectile, the AS Val does a pretty good job if you compare to the damage per projectile that other silenced assault rifles do to the head and the chest. Like the SCAR does 132 and 32, the M4 does 127 and 27, and the AK does 124 and 24. So the AS Val actually sits between the SCAR and the M4 and way ahead of the AK. Now if we look at the DPS, it's also pretty high and sits at around 7.9 thousand with a full mag, so 20 rounds. Now if we compare this to the other assault rifle by doing a mag dump with only 20 rounds left for a fair comparison, the SCAR sits at around 5.3 thousand, the M4 at 6 thousand, the AK at 4.8 thousand and the G36 sits at a very shy 4.6 thousand. The DPS doesn't really matter too much in zero hours since you know the damage is pretty realistic and the characters are not really bullet sponge like we have in other more arcade games like Battlefield or Call of Duty but it's still a pretty fun thing to know that the AS Val actually is kind of at the top when it comes to DPS with only 20 rounds left in the mag. In terms of recoil and control when out of ADS and when using a laser sight, you can do some pretty nice grouping at short range, but it starts struggling a bit at mid range. When in ADS and using the OKB sight, the AS Val performs very well from short to mid range. But because you only get 20 shots per mag, you don't really have the time to reach the very bumping jumps in the recoil animations that you usually have with other weapons like the MP7 which, for instance, is also an extremely accurate weapon, but when emptying the 40 rounds mag, the recoil animation goes through those big jumps from left to right and up and down a couple more times than you have with AS Val. But that's kind of the biggest danger with the AS Val as well. 20 rounds at a high rate of fire, it gets empty really, really quickly. In the work in progress build, the AS Val already comes with the most important attachments like the laser sight and the flashlight for the rail, the OKP for the sights and a vertical grip. The way the attachments are placed seems pretty accurate, although some of the attachments like the flashlight could get its own 3D model like a unique design to have it closer to what it is in real life. Nothing game breaking obviously, but hopefully something the team will consider doing in the future. Now let's have a look at some gameplay to see how the AS Val performs in action. I will be playing a bit of solo run on Embassy just to show you how the AS Val works against proper targets and the kind of pros and cons of the weapons in situation.
down! Hands in the air! So to conclude, the AS Val is another great addition to this game and by far one of the most efficient weapons in Zero Hour right now in my opinion. Since what matters the most in the CQC game is how well a weapon performs in the short time and the short range and when it comes down to the assault rifle, the AS Val excels. It will require some control though and the AS Val should probably be reserved to sharpshooters and players with great reflexes amazing target acquisition and target transfer skills since you do not want to waste too many of those rounds too quickly. Just like the sort of shotgun, players who want to use the AS Val will have to rely a lot more on their sidearms and get better with them in order to maximize their survival rate. Overall the AS Val feels pretty well balanced and I think giving it a 30 round mag would probably turn this weapon into something that is way too overpowered in my opinion, even if it makes the weapon much heavier. But if they want to add the 30 rounds mag in the future, maybe it could make the weapon obviously heavier, but also harder to control and with more recoil. I think the one thing I would still love the team to improve in the future is the weapon sound effects. I still find it a little bit too loud in my opinion, with too much low end. I think it needs to be a little bit more like how the MP5 sounded before. The AS Val is an extremely silent weapon thanks to its integrated suppressor and 9x39 subsoning ammo. I don't think it should be completely silent, of course, but I feel there is still room for improvements here. Anyway, this is it for this video previewing the AS Val. It's going to be an amazing addition to the Defender's Weapon Inventory, and again, I cannot wait for you to try it. If you enjoyed what you have seen in this video, please consider leaving a like and to subscribe to support the channel. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video, probably previewing the amazing FN57. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.